One one for Mooney. Center field. That's trouble. Fraley's going to score easily. Dela Cruz just flying to third. Did they get it? Yeah, they got him at third. And what a play for Julio Rodriguez, as that did help lead the Mariners to win the series against the Reds. Now, how did I feel about this game? You will find out after a word from our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal, and you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description, so take advantage, and thank you. So the Mariners finally win a series against the Cincinnati Reds as they have won 3-1 to one against Cincinnati. And boy, was it a really close game. A little bit closer than it was last game. Now, before I get into the post-game show, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification. Also, donate to this channel as well as everything you do will help grow this channel in a very slow, grinding way, which I'm perfectly okay with because I did sign up for this. Now, let's get into it. So... Let's get, yeah, let's, I already said, let's get into it. So Mariners did score first. They scored one, nothing. And that was off of a Jonathan Classe double and Mitch Garver scored and he barely scored. He was nearly thrown out, but luckily the catcher bobbled the throw and the umpire nearly, he originally called them out, but then because of like further review, it, the fact that it bounced off and the ball was out when the tag was applied it made it a one nothing game. And then in the fifth inning, immediately, it was a tie ball game. And this is where Logan Gilbert was pitching very well. He was pitching a perfect game going into the top of the fifth. And unfortunately, some hits were just given up. And then eventually, Fairchild, he grounded out. And then Fraley scored on that one. And this thing was started by a Jake Fraley hit. Jake Fraley, the former Mariner. But then immediately, right into the bottom of the fifth, Mitch Garver, he responded with a bases-loaded walk to make it 2-1. to one. And then in the bottom of the sixth inning, Mitch Hanniger singled to score in J.P. Crawford, which, by the way, J.P. Crawford and Julio Rodriguez, they contributed very well today. Like They did a lot better than they have been in like the last long time. And then we got into some really nervous parts. Then we got into the later parts of the game. I believe it was the top of the seventh inning where it was by the top of the seventh. It was definitely the top of the seventh inning where Julio Rodriguez made an amazing catch with a fly ball to his left center field. And I didn't even know if he had that much ground to cover. I didn't think he can cover that ground, but then he did. But then things got really stressful where. Logan Gilbert did walk the batter. And then this was where Scott service pulled out Logan Gilbert. And I was thinking, no, he's still not even at hundred pitches. Just let him finish the inning, which Scott service never lets that happen. As soon as a good pitcher is dealing. And as soon as he, as soon as that pitcher gives up the walk or the hit, even if it's just one and it was by a fluke accident, Scott service just pulls him out, which I did not agree with where he put in Andres Munoz, where he, I think he caused the save where the runner was on first and second. There was a base hit where Julio Rodriguez threw out Ellie De La Cruz, and that was before the runner ahead of De La Cruz could score, which he barely didn't score. And I think that was Jake Fraley. He didn't even cross the plate by the time De La Cruz was, was thrown out. So that was a great heads-up play by Julio, who made that beautiful throw. And that pretty much was going to seal the deal, but then we got into the top of the ninth inning where the bases were loaded and mu much of it was caused by Ty France, who was just one strike away, or Stanek was one strike away. There was a play at first base that France had an opportunity to get him out, and then he bobbled it, tried to get it to Stanek, and Stanek dove for it, and after further review, it was safe, and then Stanek walked another batter, which was, I believe, De La Cruz. And then next thing you know, T Taylor Saucedo came in, pitched very well this time. Well, he pitched well the night before, which caused the flyout to Julio Rodriguez, and that ended the game. Now let's get into the box score. Now I just talked about the real points of that game. For the Mariners, J.P. Crawford went two for five, 
a lot better this time. Julio Rodriguez was two for five. He did score in the run. He, he hit a lot better this time. He did strike out, but he hit two solid singles and played well defensively. Polanco struggled with 0 for 3, but he did walk a couple times to make up for it. He didn't score, but at least he was getting on base. Mitch Hanniger played very well, 2 for 4. Now his batting average is 300. He got the RBI single. Cal Raleigh struggled, but he did walk a couple times. Mitch Garver struggled as well, but he did get that walk RBI. So sometimes that best way to contribute is to just walk, especially if he gets an RBI. Luke Rayleigh was just awful, 0 for 3. And then Ty France didn't do much better either as a pinch hitter. But actually, no, he he walked, so that's fine. Classe, 1 for 4. He got the RBI single. It was actually a double this time. So although his batting average is low, he's striking out a bit because he's just swinging at those curveballs, breaking stuff. He made it up with now two days worth of RBIs. And then Josh Rojas, one for three. What more he could ask? Maybe he could have done a little bit more, but he still did. He still did pretty well. And then in the pitching, Logan Gilbert pitched fantastic. Six and a two, six strikeouts, only one walk. Only give up three hits, one earned run, which I still didn't really think it was his fault that much. Andres Munoz, he had he had a shaky part of the ending part of the seventh inning, but then he got three strikeouts to make up for it. Ryan Stanek struggled with two walks, and I really do question if he should be the closer going forward. I mean, I still stand that Munoz shouldn't be the closer, even though he's two for two. He's just not great in that high leverage kind of situation, in my opinion. So I think once... Matt Brash and Sandos are back. I think that's where things could make a things can make a change. And then Taylor Saucedo, he he's been actually pitching pretty well. He's gotten nine strikeouts to the start of the season, and he got out of the inning pretty well and out of the game. So now we go into the final game of the series against the Cincinnati Reds, and let's take a look and see what the Mariners do have at stake going into the final game. Of this series, it's going to be Bryce Miller going up against Andrew Abbott. And this, I think this one will be, I think this is where the offense may not see as many runs as Abbott is one and one with a 2.60 ERA, has a 1.04 whip. He has struck out 11 batters and looks like in his two starts, it seems, or maybe two or three. Gave up a home run, so I don't think you're going to get much home runs out of it. Bryce Miller. 17 strikeouts and six walks with a 1.96 ERA and a below one whip. So I think this one's going to be a much closer game than what we will see. Or if not, maybe the Reds will pull it out. Good to see the Mariners win the series, but I would like to see the sweep so that way we can make up for the losses in Toronto and the Chicago Cubs. So let's make it happen. Let's finish this. And that's going to do it for me. I just want to say thank you very much for watching and thank you for watching my live show previously. And that's going to do it. Hopefully the Mariners will win and go Mariners. And thank you very much for watching. Glad the Mariners can pull out the victory and win the series. If you'd like to know what happened in the previous game, here is that video and check that out.